All right. Well, guys, all you other flooring contractors out there, I just like to tell a little story. And I'm going to shoot straight with you. I'm, I'm telling you this to promote the NWFA courses. Uh, I was out in new construction for years before I took my first uh, NWFA course. It was an intermediate sand, or install sand and finish course. And, you know, I was out there, I was hustling, I was out there banging the drum, telling everybody what I did, and I was out there doing new construction floors. I was making more money than I needed to spend, and, you know, putting food on the table, buying insurance, doing what I could to get ready for retirement. But. As you know, I would guess some of you guys may be in this position now. I was in it just a, a few short years ago. I got to that point where it's just like I'm starting to feel fairly run down here. I mean, it doesn't the work doesn't seem to be ending, but that's that's good to have things to do, right? But by the same token, I mean, I was just banging in strip floors, and uh, maybe you guys will be able to appreciate this being out there and in the trenches. I'm out there with you. I was preparing the subfloors on new construction and uh, installing, sanding, staining, and two coats of oil-based finish uh, on s an average of 700 square feet every five days. And that's just not, all oh, five days and a, and a weekend. That was every five days. And you start running the numbers, and it's like, well, that's a lot of floor, that's a lot of income, you know, that's all right. But by the same token, I mean, I just really felt like I was working myself into the ground. And when someone suggested another contractor from my area, well, maybe I ought to take a course, you know, that, that would be good. Well, it was right about that same time when I started with a, another new construction builder and uh, he said, uh, I didn't really know what to expect. I said they had a lot of work and I went up there to meet with him. It was about an hour's drive from my house. And he was an old Western fellow. You know, I'm out in Colorado. This was up in Wyoming and he's like, all right, we got 22 holes in the ground. We got four, you know, dug here. We got five foundations. We got five being framed here and we got four ready for you. So let's get to work. You know, we're burning daylight. You know, this is the way this guy was. And it just, it, it didn't matter to them if there was a furnace in the place or HVAC. And I just said, absolutely not. I won't do it unless you've got your HVAC running. But, you know, I didn't want to keep the temperature up where it ought to be. And these people just weren't getting a finished product that I felt they should be getting. You know, I was just working myself into the ground. And I went out and took that intermediate install sand finish course. And it, I just saw things in a whole different light. I went out, I continued, took uh, the advanced course installation, took jigs and medallions took uh, expert install, expert sand and finish. And now I have a chance to go back and, and give back some. We just uh, last week taught a, I helped teach a, a intermediate install course there in St. Louis for four days. Great experience, met some great guys. These are people we can all get together and meet, trade contact info and bounce ideas off each other in the future. So if you're, if you're in that spot where I was just a few short years ago and you're, you're just wondering if there's some other way to do it, about half the floors I do now have custom elements to them. I'm making better money and I don't want it to be like, oh, better money with less effort and all that. It's effort and it's work, but it's in different ways. It's not quite so physically strenuous when you start getting into some of those uh, custom floors. So it's a balance. I still do regular resands, but by the same token, you know, some custom too. It's just, it's a good mix for me. So if you've been considering that, feel free and shoot me an email or call me uh, if you have any questions about the courses. And I'd highly recommend trying an NWFA course. Thanks guys, stay sharp.